bereavement support groups can be a great help to people who for whatever reason feel that they lack connection in their own community. So maybe their family just isn't, uh, they don't perceive their family being very supportive. Maybe they're not connected to a faith community. They don't feel uh, particularly attached to a neighborhood or a, a particular group or organization or whatever. They may just feel alienated for whatever the reason is. Bereavement support groups in addition to that can be helpful for people who just simply feel like um, I might be wearing out my family and my friends by always talking about uh, this person in my life who's now died. And I'd like to have a place to do that, but I don't want to, I don't want to wear out my friendships or my family relationships by uh, constantly talking about him. And, and having an hour or two a week that I can gather with a group of people can really help me to do that. So that's a benefit. I think it's also helpful in a bereavement support group that usually you'll be with people who are both ahead of you and behind you in the process. And it really doesn't matter if this is an ongoing group that meets every week and you go as long as you want, or if it's a time-limited group that meets for six weeks or eight weeks or 12 weeks. It uh, doesn't make any difference. There will be people who are a year into the process. There will be people who are two months into the process. And there probably will be people who are three years into the process as well. And so being with people who are both before you and, and behind you uh, helps us to learn from each other and discover things that work and new ideas to try and all of those kinds of things.